Greetings from the European Parliament studio in Strasbourg. My name is Ilze Nagla and today we will be talking why our choices to have less children than our grandparents did is leading to aging society in Europe and what are the consequences? Maybe not so much for the older people but for the young. And today I'm joined by a German MEP, Mr. Dennis Ratke. Hello. Very good, uh, nice to have you here. And you are from the political group of European People's Party here. Retirement age, for, for the reasons I mentioned, because uh, there are less, less, less children are born, less young people, retirement age is increasing everywhere in Europe. In Latvia we have 64 years, it, it's a current retirement age, now increasing to 65. In Germany, you already have 65 and nine months and planning to increase to 67. Some even have suggested that you should increase to 69. Is the situation really so bad in Germany? Uh, well, the, the, um, the situation is challenging, to, to, to be honest. Uh, so we have our pension system and we have to, uh, to give taxpayers money in it uh, approximately about 100 billion euros a year to stabilize that system. So that shows, uh, in fact, there are real challenges. But uh, uh, I'm not in favor of uh, increasing again um, the, 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 the pension age because uh, the decision to increase it to, to uh, uh, um, 67, uh, it took a long time uh, that we have a kind of acceptance in our society. So now we are at a point where we have that acceptance. It will be realized until uh, 2030. And now, at the very moment you have that acceptance, uh, to restart the process and to say, oh, well, <laughs> we, we, we assume uh, 67 is not enough, maybe 69 or 70, this would be a, a very bad political sign. And I, I, I fear there will be no uh, acceptance for that. But at one point, it will have to happen. According to some cal calculations in Germany, now we have uh, three uh, working people for each pensioner and in 40 years it's going to be three working people for two pensioners. So you will have to increase uh, the age of when people retire, right? Well, the, the question of in, in increasing the retirement age is, is, is only one screw you can uh, turn in this system. Of course, you have other possibilities. And as I said, that there are a lot of challenges uh, within the system. But in my eyes, it, it would be the wrong uh, way uh, uh, to to uh, to to just increase uh, uh, the, um, the 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 age. In in my eyes, we have to stabilize the systems with uh, uh, with some new elements. Uh, so, uh, as a Christian Democratic Party, we uh, came up with the idea to install a kind of uh, generation pension system. So, if a new child is born, uh, that's a uh, 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 with public money, uh, uh, we, we are spending uh, public money uh, for, for buying some shares, for, for, for a kind of share in investment uh, to, uh, to give the possibility that if you are getting older, uh, um, you, you have something in addition. I think these are uh, uh, ideas where we should uh, uh, talk about to stabilize the system. So to put more money in it, right, rather than increase the, the pension uh, retirement age even more, right? Well, it's not only a question of putting more money. It's not only about uh, we, we are taking a taxpayer's money and uh, put it right into the system. It's, it is a kind of investing public money uh, into the system. So uh, to, to, to have some shares in addition or to, to, to come up with new ideas how to make it more attractive for companies to, uh, to pay a pension for their, for their workers. These, these are very important debates. So it's not only about taxpayers' money. In all Europe, the pension systems are built in the way that uh, it's called uh, pay as you go, when yeah. the, the pensions for the current pensioners are paid from the premiums of, of, of future pensioners. Uh, but if the population decreases, and it is decreasing all over Europe, so what is the solution to that? Uh, immigration? How, for instance, how people would feel about that? 
Well, uh, the, 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 um, the, the system as you described it, the question of working people is of course a key issue, but it's, it's, it's not the only issue, uh, because it is also a question of productivity. So if productivity is, is growing, uh, of, of course, it is, it is possible um, to, um, uh, to, to, to balance the system. But, uh, of course, you're right. The, the question of, of migration uh, is becoming more and more important, not only with view on the question of who is paying for our pensions. It is also a, a, a big target because uh, in our economies, not only in, in Germany, all over Europe, we are seeking for experts for, for doing the job. I, I assume we will uh, also talk about care if we, if we talk about uh, uh, elder, uh, elderly society. And so the, the question is, who will do all the work? So, uh, of course, the question of migration and, and who shall come to us uh, um, this is uh, one, one of the main issues within the next years. Let me take another angle to the aging uh, society here yeah. in Europe. Uh, a, not a lot, but some young people uh, choose to be childless, voluntarily yeah. childless, not to have children. And they argue that that, is, uh, that choice will uh, help to save the planet, there will be less uh, CO2 emissions. What do you think about that? And I mean, it's also going to have effect on the pension system in the future, right? That uh, there, there will be less children. And what do you think about choice of young people not to have children? And is that a big trend, uh, big trend also in Germany? Uh, well, maybe let me start with, uh, with the last point. It is not a, 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 a trend you can see in, in Germany. Uh, of course, you have that discussion in, in public. It was uh, triggered a bit by, by, by Fridays for Futures. Uh, so uh, is it the right decision to have uh, children because of uh, CO2 emissions? Uh, well, in my eyes, um, this is a freedom of choice, and I will not comment on uh, on a very personal uh, uh, freedom of choice. So everyone uh, is free to decide for himself, uh, for herself, do I want to have uh, children uh, or not? Uh, for me, it would have been, as a father of two, uh, it would have been unthinkable for me uh, to, to, to live with, without uh, uh, children. But of course, again, this is a, uh, this is a, a freedom uh, of, of, of choice uh, and everyone has to decide on his or her own. Um, seeing that European society is, is aging, of course we have worried about how the pension system will work and so on, but does it also maybe open new opportunities also for economy? Because what we're going to end up, we're going to end up with rather active old people, because the health system probably will be better than for our grandparents. Uh, so we will have a lot of active people who have retired. Uh, what kind of opportunities does it open for the economy? Uh, well, I think it is a very important issue you are raising here because we, we, uh, uh, m most of the time we are discussing about what challenges for our social security systems does it, does it cause. This is, a, of course, an important debate, but of course there are also opportunities for, for the economy and for the society. society. Uh, we, we spoke a bit about uh, care. Uh, so there are uh, job potential of 8 million uh, jobs within the European Union uh, in the care sector because if we, we, we have an, an elderly society, of course there is potential uh, or, or the need uh, for, for, for more care and so there is the need of more jobs. And uh, uh, scientists are talking about uh, the potential of 8 million uh, jobs. So, so this is an opportunity for the economy and for the society, of course, it is a, it is a special value that you have a, a, a big amount of people um, who, who have a lot of experience. Uh, so in, in, in several sectors, in, in not only a, um, a business uh, experience, but they have also a, a lot of life experience. So this is a value. And uh, when you think of your own use, and I think of, of mine, 
uh, what I loved very much was to spend time with my, with my grandparents. In my remembrance, uh, th th these are the most beautiful uh, remembrances uh, uh, of, my, uh, of, my, of my childhood and my, my youth. And I think this is a, a, a very great value for our society. Thank you so much. And uh, so we talked about aging society in Europe, which is not only about challenges, but also might bring some new opportunities. Thank you and bye.